All right. So for this problem, we need to be able to find the area of our triangle. But the problem with the area of a triangle is when we were found the area of the triangle, we always had to find out what our height was, right? We were at least given an angle, and we could either use the sine value to find our angle, or we're given a right triangle, and we somehow we had the height. In this case, we're not given any of the heights. All we're given is the side lengths. So what we can use is Heron's formula. What Heron's formula says is if I take a, b, and c divided by 2, I'm going to get a value s. I can then apply that value s into the square root of this formula to be able to find my area. Now, these are all actually in meters. Let's go with that. So the first thing is let's determine what s is. So s in our problem is going to be 43 plus 53 plus 72 divided by 2. So you just take 43 plus 53 plus 72 and then divide it by 2, which is well, 168 then divided by 2 is going to be 84. Right? OK. So now once we have 84, I'm just simply going to plug that in. So my area now includes 84 times 84 minus a, which is 43, times 84 minus b, which is 53, times 84 minus 72. So that equals square root 84 times 84 minus um, 43 is going to be 41. Um, times 84 minus 53, which is going to be 30, 31. And then 84 minus 72 is going to be 12. Okay. Now we'll just multiply all those values. So 84 times yeah, let's multiply. 84 times 41 times 31 times 12, and then the square root of that big answer. This is going to be 1,131, 8, 9 meters squared. Since we're dealing with our length, our measurement in meters, the area is going to be meters squared. OK? Anybody have any questions on that? Pretty basic. OK, that's it. It's pretty.